Yeah, it's Africa. It appears in numbers from this angle, doesn't it? Imagine how big is it? Really? Or perhaps I should say, how big do we think Africa, the origin of mankind, is? The idea that Africa is the second largest continent in the globe is not widely accepted at all educational levels in many African cultures and in some parts of the West. Well, that's not our Africa. Based on the size of the African continent and the map, relatively little information was disclosed. What we know about Africa was passed down to future generations by our African ancestors. But historically, despite being drawn numerous times and in a variety of styles, no African had ever created an African-made map. Some people think that due to colonization, Africa was given an incorrect credit and that it is more powerful than what was previously believed to be true. According to recent scientific investigations, Africa is indeed larger than it seems on maps, so the issue still remains, is Africa bigger? And have you ever given any thought to the possibility that the African map you are accustomed to might have been incorrectly scaled in relation to Africa's true size? Put what you want changed in this part to find out as there is only one way to do it. Stick to your screen and watch this video till the end. If you are new here, welcome. Subscribe and turn the notifications bell so that you can get notified when we upload videos like this. Let's continue. The full immensity of Africa will be demonstrated to you in this content. Why is the size of Africa depicted incorrectly on the map? You see, behind Asia, Africa is the second largest and most populous continent in the world. That basically indicates that at least a respectable minority of people on every continent are of pure African ancestry. 30.3 million square kilometers if the neighboring islands are included. 20% of the land on Earth's surface and 6% of its total surface are occupied by Africa. According to statistics from 2018, around 1.3 billion people, or over 16% of the world's population, reside in Africa. And despite this, Africa has the youngest population of all the continents, with a median age of 19.7 in 2012, compared to a global median age of 30.4 as of 2022. The nominal GDP of all African continents totals a staggering $2.92 trillion. Africa is also the continent most endowed with natural resources and a wealth of flora and fauna. It is understandably why during the slave trade era was known as a center of uncensored invasions. Despite all this praise and the wealth of natural resources, well, I'm afraid things don't really get better here. Africa is sometimes cited as a continent with the lowest per capita income. It's clear this is also due to geographical limitations. European colonialism's after effects in Africa and, well, you were right to guess, a Cold War. Western countries and China are engaging in predatory neocolonialist practices. The continent's reputation suffered as a result of under-democratic rule and harmful policies. There are many reasons to feel happy though, because Africa is a significant economic market in the larger global context, despite having a low wealth concentration due to recent economic growth and a sizable and youthful population. Africa's map has now been the topic of numerous debates and drawing attempts. In actuality, there are around 11 different map illustrations that have been used to show the African continent to the globe. The very first African map was created in 1554 by a particular German named Monster Sebastian. He was a Hebrew scholar who pictured Africa as a one-eyed giant sighted among other large lands on the globe map. He performed a good job of representing various nations including Nigeria, Cameroon, and Central Africa. The map was obviously incorrect, and after 30 years, a different, more enthusiastic scholar drew it. The second map, which depicted modern Africa more accurately, was created in 1584 by the pseudonym Abraham. Africa appears here to have a more recognized shape on his map, with a more accurate southern cape. The Ptolemaic sources of the Nile were also utilized by Tullius. They are located further south between two sizable lakes. Currently, the Niger was featured on the west side, 
the Atlantic Ocean and the Zanzibar coast. The names of various towns located both inland and along the coast appear to be independent from the continent of Africa on this map, as does the location of Madagascar. Despite the fact that there starts to be more and more vast empty spaces, neither plants nor animals were shown on the map. However, so fish and whales found in the oceans. This map, which was largely regarded as being more accurate, became the accepted representation of the African continent during the 16th century. Nine additional maps have been created and developed over the span of numerous scores of decades from this original map, with the creation of fresh regions, sites, and nations. These maps were created, sketched, and modified throughout the course of 40 years as time passed, gradually trending off pieces of the original borders and Sebastian's maps of the nine remaining maps. The last two maps created were the most precise of them all, but even so, they were also the most edited in terms of acreage and overall separation from the continent, and two of the final maps were created in 1856 and 1880, 36 years later, respectively by the French historian Rivo Gautam. There are a number of map projections that have been used to represent the continents of the world in modern times. One of the most well-known and often used world maps is the Mercator map projection. And the Equal Earth map projection is its most well-linked variant. The size of Africa here is nearly the same to half of the Gaul map. 30 million square kilometers is about how much. And however, Africa is 14 times bigger in actuality according to the Equal Earth Map Critters explanation. The mother continent is Africa, without a shadow of a doubt. In reality, according to this estimate, Africa's actual size is 30.37 million square kilometers, which means the massive continent has enough room for multiple big world powers. The exact size of the continent has been altered on the map a number of times because it has been subject to numerous explorers, historians, and geographers drawing up somewhat arbitrary demarcations to define the continent. Although it should go without saying that the current map of Africa is still the most precise and up-to-date among all previous maps, however, it does not accurately represent the extent of the continent. So that's what happened. We appreciate you watching the entire video. What do you think about the difference between the real and represented sizes of the African continent? The greatest comment will be pinned, so let us know what you think in the comments area. Please remember to turn on the notifications indicator and subscribe to our channel.